If you are a tactile person, you're going to absolutely love the texture and bumpy feel of this Trinity stitch knitting pattern. I'm Nancy Queen and thanks for joining me today. This is part of a knitting stitch collection and I post a new stitch pattern every Sunday. So click the link above to view the entire collection. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get notified every time I post. For this swatch, you'll need a skein of worsted weight yarn, a pair of size 8 knitting needles, a pair of small scissors, and a finishing or tapestry needle to weave in your yarn ends. Let's start by making a slip knot and putting that on the needle. The Trinity stitch uses a multiple of four stitches plus an extra two stitches to create the pattern. Now I'm going to cast on 22 stitches for my swatch. I'm using the long tail cast on. It's my favorite type of cast on. It's my go-to cast on because it's sturdy. It really is a good foundation for your for most knitting projects. And if you'd like to learn how to do the long tail cast on, just click this link above. Before you start your first row, take a moment to count the stitches on the needle to make sure that you have 22 stitches. Now we're ready to go. For row one, you are going to purl all of the stitches across the row. So for my purling, you may notice I hold my needles and my yarn a little differently. I am using the Continental Knitting Style and I have a video right here for how to purl Continental Style. Give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. So for this row, you're going to knit the first stitch. Then in the second stitch, you're going to knit one, then bring the yarn in front and purl one. And then finally, bring the yarn to the back and knit one while keeping that stitch on the needle. So now when you're done, you'll slide that stitch off the needle and move on to purling three stitches together. Now let's try that again. In the next stitch, you're going to knit one, purl one, and knit one without removing that stitch from the needle. Now we're going to purl three stitches together. And if you notice, we're working in clusters of three. That is why this stitch is called the Trinity stitch. So you'll keep repeating this across the row. In the next stitch, knit one, purl one, knit one, then purl three stitches together. Knit one into the last stitch on your needle. What I love about this pattern is that, see there's not much going on, then you turn it over, you finished row two, and bam, you have these gorgeous bobbles coming up. So let's get into row three of our pattern. Row three of this project is just like row one. You're going to purl all the stitches across the row. We're going to be working our bobble stitches again for row four. So we'll start with knitting the first stitch and then we are going to reverse what we did on row two. So we're going to purl three stitches together to begin with. And then in the next stitch, we're going to knit one, purl one, knit one to create that little bobble. And we'll just keep repeating that across the row, purl three stitches together. And then in the next stitch, knit one, purl one, knit one. And then the final stitch in the row, we'll just knit into the last stitch. While I'm knitting stitch sampler swatches like this, I love to sit and contemplate what 
they would be knit up to. Like I think of this nubbly Trinity stitch pattern as a beautiful decorative pillow cover. You could knit two squares and make them 10 by 10 inches or 12 by 10, 12 by 12 inches to make a really cute square decorative pillow. You could also use the nubbly texture to make a dishcloth or face cloth because it would, you know, the texture would provide some extra scrubbing value. And I also think it could make a really cute child's blanket if you backed it with kind of a really soft velvet or something cozy, um, you know, in a fabric to give it a backing. Let me know in the comments below what your creative thoughts are and what, while you're knitting this swatch, what you think you could do with this stitch pattern. Here's the Trinity stitch written out for you. It's a multiple of four stitches plus two edge stitches. Then for row one, you're going to purl. Row two, you're going to knit the first stitch, then knit one, purl one, knit one into the next stitch and purl three stitches together. Repeat across the row. Row three, purl. Row four, knit first stitch, then purl three stitches together, knit one, purl one, knit one into the next stitch, repeat that across, and knit into the last stitch. Keep repeating rows one through four until your project reaches the desired length, and then bind off and weave in the yarn ends. If you would like more of these awesome stitch patterns, check out the playlist above and some of these other patterns here on the left. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell for every time I post, and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks so much for watching and see you next week.